if that property can be acquired at 5% growth over the next 15 years, that $1.8 million property will jump up to 3.7. And the original property that you're in will jump up to 2.5. Option number three, let's have a look at it. Keep and upgrade, right? So let's go through, it's starting to get busier now. Let's go through this step by step. $1.2 million property with a $700,000 loan, a $400,000 offset. We keep this property, right? We move the offset over, right? We're going to require $443,000 to get in and acquire this $1.8 million property, right? With a $1.44 million loan, i.e. 80% loan to value ratio right? No lender's mortgage insurance played in this one. If that property can be acquired at 5% growth over the next 15 years, that $1.8 million property will jump up to 3.7. And the original property that you're in will jump up to 2.5, thereby giving you 2.09 worth, worth of lazy equity, right? Sitting with a $414,000 loan, right? And in 15 years time, if you were to repay that loan off, with a minimum repayment, you will get that loan down to 826 on the brand spanking new, bigger and better property that you end up getting, right? Thereby providing you with a net asset position of 2.87 for that particular asset, right? Minus liability, minus the debt. If you add these two up, you will end up at $4.96 million worth of net asset position. So if we break that down again, option number one, if you keep, $2.5 million in 15 years time. If you sell an upgrade and you get the same kind of returns, you're getting a 3.13 mil over the next 15 years. But if you keep and upgrade, the problem with this, or you get to 4.96. Now the problem with this particular strategy is your borrowing capacity is maxed out, right? You do not want to max out your borrowing capacity as you will see on the next slide. Right. So going for this will give you 4.96 mil worth of upside. But the problem with that is that it maxes out your borrowing capacity. What does that mean? Well, you can't lend or you can't borrow, I should say, against your next property purchase because of the fact that you've got so much debt 